In this video, we're going to talk about Cardano and give some predictions for the future. Disclaimer. Also, if you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all commission fees on Binance, then click on the link in the description. First, I want to run through what IOHK's Cardano strategy across Africa seeks to accomplish. IOHK's Africa strategy aims to foster Cardano adoption in Africa for everyday people and businesses. Highlighting the two goals that they plan to achieve, Emergo IOHK, the official commercial arm of Cardano, said in a recent statement, The first goal is to engage with local stakeholders in delivering projects that solve real issues in the market. The second goal is to train and educate local developers to create solutions for local problems. There have been talks of Cardano signing a contract with the African government for quite some time now, and things have become evident when Charles Hoskinson, founder of IOHK, tweeted something cryptic about February being a really good month. Things shaped up and became concrete when Ethiopia asserted that its government would start using Cardano's blockchain to transform the way services were acquired. The product officer at IOHK, Dino Patel, expressed how identities were taken for granted in developed markets, even though it was the core to access a host of services. He said, Cardano is an open platform that seeks to provide economic identity for the billions of people who lack it by enabling decentralized applications for identity, value, and governance. Talking about the deal, Hoskinson said, that's a big deal. That's going to grow over time, and this is the first country to do something like this. It didn't happen in the US, it didn't happen in Germany. Of all places, it happened in Ethiopia, which was a tremendous piece of news for the adoption of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. Highlighting how IOHK was very excited to work with the Ethiopian Minister of Education to create a next-generation blockchain-based identity solution, Patel said that the grades and educational attainment of students throughout their educational life would be anchored on the Cardano blockchain by creating a unique digital identity. The next phase would focus on expanding national ID programs that would allow financial institutions to also record transactions where local banks and micro-lending institutions can verify the citizens and provide services. Post the Ethiopian deal, IOHK also signed its second partnership deal with World Mobile, the first mobile network built on blockchain, to build scalable infrastructure in Tanzania. The project focuses on providing mobile internet access. Charles Hoskinson expects Africa to adopt the blockchain technology faster than any other nation, highlighting the strategic importance of Africa, Hoskinson said. In the next 5 to 10 years, all the governance tools, how they vote, how the property ledgers work, how payment systems work, how the identity systems work, how the supply chain systems work, etc, etc, are going to be updated, and this is like the leapfrog effect. Hoskinson concluded that these projects were commercial in nature, but had a social cause behind them. He affirmed that they would be successful, even though chances of failure hindered them to a certain extent. Alright, so now let's get to that price prediction. But just before doing so, if you're interested in altcoins price predictions and analysis, then I highly recommend you to follow my Telegram channel. It has every update of the most popular altcoins every day. Same with price predictions literally every hour. Cardano's price is coiling along the all-time high, unable to participate in the rally of the broader crypto market. The 10-week simple moving average has caught up to the price, but one final bear trap may be necessary to remove the weak holders and engage speculators with a longer-term horizon. Long-term ADA holders books profits. The into the block ownership by time held indicator is helpful to put the time horizon of holders into context. By assessing shifts between long-term and short-term holders dominance, you can get a better idea of the type of trading activity taking place for a particular crypto asset. The interplay between Cardano's price and the classification of crypto asset addresses has made a striking change from last May. Traders, addresses holding ADA for less than a month, represented 11.43% of total addresses. Cruisers, addresses holding ADA between 1 and 12 months, was 34.97%. And Hodlers, addresses holding more than a year, was 53.6%. This month, traders represented 36.61%. Cruisers are at 52.32%, and Hodlers are just at 11.07%. The transformation has been gradual, particularly in the spike in traders. Traders jumped from 11.88% in December 2020 to 50.12% in February, indicative of chasing the Cardano price, which entered a rally at the beginning of 2021 from a cup with high handle base 
and ultimately reaching a price well in excess of its intrinsic value. In contrast, hodlers fell from 32.88% to 15.85% over the same period, illustrating that long-term speculators took advantage of the rising price action to liquidate or cut their positions. Since the February peak when Cardano's price reached $1.55, the number of cruisers 1 to 12 million has risen from 34% to 52%, possibly as the late to the party speculators have shifted their time horizon more than a month, refusing to take a loss or break even on their trades. Meanwhile, traders have remained the same as they try to game the breakouts above the all-time high. If hodlers are considered smart money, Cardano's price has a higher probability of resolving the downside as traders will liquidate at the first sign of trouble. Cruisers will have their choke point, adding to the selling pressure a little farther down on the chart. Cardano's price has relinquished a position on the performance podium. Cardano's price has accumulated four failed weekly rallies above the 2018 high at $1.39, each with a lower volume than the previous. During the time, the weekly RSI has fallen below the neckline of a head and shoulders top, confirming the breakdown in momentum and making it more difficult for ADA to charge higher, particularly through an all-time high. Another weekly close below the 10-week SMA would be a blow and would likely trigger a sell-off, taking Cardano's price to below the 100 SMA at $1.04 and down to the April 23rd hammer low at $0.89. Cents. It would become a welcome release of weak holders. Only a weekly close above $1.39 would raise the probability of a new rally with the upside potential for Cardano's price to hit the 161.8% extension of the April decline at $2.23 and then the 261.8% extension at $3.93. And by the way, crypto expert Lark Davis tweets that he expects Cardano will shoot up following the smart contract launch in August. He mentioned that users will probably see the price double in the lead up to the event. With this, Lark caught the attention of many crypto enthusiasts. Comment down below whether you agree or disagree with them. And where can you buy Cardano? Well, you can buy it on Binance.com. If you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all trading fees on Binance, then click on the link in the description. But note that I'm not forcing you to invest in this project. It's 100% your personal decision. And don't forget to join my Telegram channel. It has every update of the most popular altcoins every day. Same with price predictions. Don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel too. Thanks for watching.